I'm Kent McDill. When the Chicago Bulls went 72-10 and in the 1995-96 NBA regular season, I attended every one of those games. I was a Bulls beat writer for the Daily Herald, the major suburban newspaper in Chicago. I traveled with the Bulls from 1988 to 1999 and followed all six of the Bulls championship teams. The 72-10 season was different with the return of Michael Jordan to top form following his first retirement, the addition of Dennis Rodman, and with Scottie Pippen going from a dominant number one to a dominant number two, the Bulls were head and shoulders above the rest of the NBA. The surprise was not that they went 72-10, and 10. the surprise was that they actually lost 10 times. The Bulls broke the NBA record with their 70th win in Milwaukee, then won two of their last three games to finish with 72 wins. They were the greatest single team in the history of the NBA. Immediately upon the conclusion of that season, fans and experts wondered if their record would ever be bested. Welcome to Ever. As of December 10th, 2015, the Golden State Warriors are 23-0, heading into a game against the Boston Celtics in Boston. The longest winning streak the 72-win Bulls had was 18 games. The Warriors won the NBA title last year with a final record of 67-15, with a 16-2 record in their final 18 regular season games. The Warriors play an enthusiastic, up-tempo style that few teams can stick with. Led by Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson on the outside, they charge right at opponents and just know that the other team can't man manage to beat them straight up. They lead the league in scoring with 116 points per game. They are almost making 50% of their shots and almost 44% of their three-pointers. Curry himself is making 61% of his two-pointers and 46% of his three-pointers. He's unconscious. The Warriors need only go 59-10 and 10 the rest of the way to tie the Bulls' record, 60-9, and 9, if they want to break the record. Back when the Bulls were on their run, those of us with the team could not find 10 games for them to lose, although they did give up those outcomes. Looking at the Warriors' schedule, it's hard to see 10 games they're going to lose between now and the end of the season. Records are made to be broken, and unbreakable records are the ones that suffer the most when they are no longer unbreakable. But what the Warriors do this season will not answer the question as to whether they are a better team than the 72-10 Bulls. That's an argument which will never be answered satisfactorily and may be asked time and again until the next great team comes along. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.